G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, Microsoft To-Do is often spoken about as a to-do list maker and also a task manager. Now, there are so many different applications in which uh, Microsoft To-Do can be used. For example, I use it regularly for sending uh, Microsoft Teams messages to a specific list to make sure that I follow up on them if I can't um, respond to it in the flow of my work. Or it might be that I'm coming across different articles articles or websites or things like that that I need to keep or review for later. Even just to pop, uh, to pop things that are coming into my head that I need to uh, take action on at some point in time. I've got a list called Intray that I use for just getting things onto that particular list to follow up on. Now, one of the hidden features or one of the, the features or functionalities that you may not know about is the ability to use hashtags in Microsoft To Do. So you might have a common uh, items across multiple lists that you kind of want to group together, almost like a cross-functional uh, group or listing of, of items. So one of the ways in which I um, have started to utilize uh, or, or manage this is through the use of hashtags. So you can see here in Microsoft To Do, I've got a couple of different lists here that I'm going to use for this example. You can see here that I've got a task here to organize a meeting with Alex, but let's just say this is uh, specifically around marketing. So what I'm going to do is add a hashtag of marketing there, and you can see that it's been highlighted and it's an actual link that I can click as well. Now, what we might also do is there's a Teams follow-up list here. This might also be for marketing, but this time in the description, I'm also now going to add a hashtag called marketing there, and we'll pop that out now. Now, Let's just add a couple more things to a few different lists here. So let's go uh, more actions, create a task, and I'm gonna pick a task list here. Now let's choose to respond to, and let's add a hashtag of marketing for this as well, and we'll add that task. Now, when we jump back into Microsoft To Do, we'll go to Respond To, and we'll click this, and you can see we've got a hashtag there called Marketing. Now, why are we adding these hashtags? Well, when we now have a look at these tasks, what we can see is I can click on the word Mark or the hashtag of Marketing, and I've now got uh, almost like a search results page here that has is listing out everything that's been uh, tagged with marketing or hashtag or has the hashtag of marketing in either the title or the description field there. So it's a great way if you're using Microsoft to do and you've got multiple different lists, but across these lists, you've got tasks or items that relate to each other. You can actually use hashtags to group them together and then when you click on that uh, one of those hashtags, you're taken to a, a search results page where it groups all of those items together in a single view, regardless of what list they are on. So just a, a little tip there, if you do wanna to group together your tasks, you are using multiple lists, but you've got some commonality or some common items there that relate to each other, then you can also use hashtags to group them all together. So. Thanks again for watching. I hope that brings you some value and I'll see you in the next episode.